Idaho ambassador, aka Hillary Lee, and I'm here with my friend Hector Garcia. Hey, everybody. He is the man, the myth, the legend behind Waffle Me Up. Thank you. Yes, and we're just going <laughs> to give you guys a little bit of a snapshot of who he is, what they do, and how they came about. Right. So, are you from Boise originally? No, I'm originally from a little town called Boise, Washington, but I moved over here from Juneau, Alaska about oh. eight years ago. Eight yeah. years. Eight years. Why were you in Juneau, Alaska? Well, I met my wife in Seattle. Yeah. And so she said she was going to go back and finish her degree, and I was like, okay, I guess I'll go with you. Yeah. You're like, have me <laughs> Yes, I'm like, I'll go with you to, to Juno. And I never thought I would ever experience Seattle. I just kind of like pondered what Alaska was like. But when I got there, it was a super beautiful oh, I've heard it's little gorgeous. gorgeous town. But rains all the time. That's why I'm here now. Yes, well, yeah. the sun is nice. Except for yes. now when we're like... Yeah, except for now when we're a little when hot. we're a little <laughs> hot. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so you moved here for what reason? Well... How did, how did in, it come okay, about? Okay, so I moved over here. Well, I had an intuition to move over here. Uh, just, I prayed about it, or you call it just intuition, whatever you call yeah. it. Not being religious or anything, but I had a hunch. Yeah. Um, you listened to your gut. I was listening to my gut. I uh, looked at magazines at Fred Meyer in Juneau, Alaska, and it said, Boise, the place to go. <laughs> and I just kept getting this hunch. Yeah. Well, to, it's, I'm totally, I believe, sorry, I wrote, yeah. like no, serendipity is like this. I, When the universe pushes you right. in a certain direction, right. don't fight it. So, no, and I didn't fight it. Yeah. Um, I told my family I was moving. Um, I lived over there with my, my, my wife's Filipina, so it was actually real comfortable because the, the parents wanted us to live there, and it was way too comfortable. Yeah. I didn't have to make a single meal. Yeah. I didn't have to wash my clothes. Yeah. So I said, this is way too easy. Yeah, you're like, I need, I, I need to like, I need some growth. I need, yeah. 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 So I need some growth. So yeah, I decided to make the move of 2008 after the crash. Oh. Yeah. Brave. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and so you did you have a job when you no, moved to I had there? a I had a business over there. Oh. I had a a a, a fish and ch uh, well, basically fish tacos and other kind of tacos. Yeah. And um, I decided to sell it right after the crash, and I got advice from every you'll never sell it. So basically, I just got some little flyers because this was before the iPhone. Yeah. yeah. Um, before all it was the social just, media yeah, it was just all like... email, and so I just put up a flyer around around Juno that said "business for sale, uh, taco, a uh, little Andy's taco stand," and I sold it within ninety days after the crash. Uh, well, let me. I mean, yeah. Is Juno as like? I mean, I feel like Alaska doesn't. I could be completely off yeah. base, but I feel like they maybe don't get hit as hard in certain areas because they're not this crazy economy that all of a sudden takes a dump. It's right. Like. They're pretty... Yeah, they're pretty steady with yeah. the economy with because um, it's the capital, so there's a lot of state jobs. But, you know, the tourists slowed oh, down. yeah, that's true. But it, they still came in. Yeah. There's still money spent because it wasn't... Uh, the whole the whole world wasn't crashed. Well, it's Alaska. It, it was mean. Alaska, and, and the money was still coming in. But oh. it was... Uh, yeah, it was an exciting time for me to sell it 90 days after the crash. So uh, cool. Someone actually from Portland, Oregon bought it for me, and we negotiated for about a month over the phone, and he just sent me a check for a down payment of $20,000. Unseen. And I'm like, and then he paid me the rest when he got there. That is so yeah. cool. High five. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So, I just, so the whole point about being an entrepreneur is like, even when people are down and people think like you will never be able to accomplish yeah. anything during this time, I think totally the opposite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When I think with, with our type of mindset though, you yeah. can't think that way. No. Yeah. I mean, if you think that way, you're just going to be, you're not going to attract any customers and you're going to be in your own little right. hole, right? Right. Yeah. So, I'm totally opposite. I said, I'll sell it. And that's how I think. Yeah. I always think I'm successful. It's just the way I think. It's not about bragging. It's just the yeah. way you have to think. When it's a mindset thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like I've met people that, right. and I have friends that are just like, everything's always, this sucks right. or this right. is whatever. And it's like, well, maybe the world keeps kind of shitting on you because right. you just constantly think about how hard right. it is to be you. It is. It's, Instead of just be like, oh yeah, I'm going to sell this. Right. I'm going to sell this and it's that easy. Not worry about it. And then things come together. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so okay. So you sold that. I sold Moved it. here. Moved here. And then what? Then I, <laughs> so then I sold that and I actually started a little Italian ice cream stand. Oh. Yeah. And just went around like, you know, there's so many shaved ice stands here. So I actually just did that for a while, for about two years. But shaved ice is pretty competitive here and everybody loved this Italian ice. Yeah. But I decided to sell that. Again. Again. And I, I sold you. it. And I sold it. Yeah. What? Yes. Round two. Round two. I like and it. I sold that. And then, um, so 
the waffle business kicked in right after that. And where did where did that whole concept? The whole idea concept came just come from, from like some kind of generic food. Sh- it wasn't even the Food Network. It was just kind of some generic Food Network TV TV show, show showing a food truck co- showing the Liege waffle, oh. and and the, and the light bulb just went bling. And you're like this. Um, this could work. Yeah. Yeah. So you I listen actually, to your gut a lot. I yeah. Like so that. I l- listen to my gut and and like once again, if you just keep working on something. It'll come into fruitation. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. You just got to believe it and put action behind it and take those steps. Follow through. And, and follow through. And people will make fun of you. Like when I was telling people, like, I'm opening up a waffle truck. They're like, oh, I've never me. heard of a waffle truck. My whole family. Right. They're like, a gluten-free well, truck? I know. They're right? like, you're going to put some gluten in there, right? right? And yeah. I'm like, no, that's not the point. Right. So, yeah, it was like, everybody's like I've never heard of a waffle truck. And they're like, we'll see, we'll believe it we'll when we see, see it. it. I said, perfect. Then yeah. you'll see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. Okay, so, and then you you were like, okay, but I'm going to pull the trigger. Where did you start? So I actually started actually, so the crazy thing is um, I couldn't get any into uh, venues like the farmer's market mm-hmm. in downtown Boise because, you know, they're like, we don't know you. So I That's actually it. started. It's like a cult following. Right, yeah, there. it's like a cult <laughs> following. You got to be pretty, like, you got to know someone or you got to be connected to the manager or the owner, whatever. But uh, so I started off in Caldwell. At really? the farmer's market, yeah, with a pop up tent. What, yeah, and did you just have like a couple irons out there on a Yeah, table, I just well, or? I actually started with these irons with um, like these ones that are from Costco for 40 bucks. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah like, and I just would take my generator and I would go and I would actually literally make 30 bucks, but I had an intuition not to give up, yeah, I kept going, cool. I would show up. Yeah. So I, that's, you know, consistency pause. is yeah, big. Yeah, showing up. 80% of success is showing up. And I think the rest, it could be whatever, attitude, whatever, yeah. a super good product, customer service. But yeah, so I would show up and it wouldn't make any money. <laughs> hey, listen, we've all been there, trust yeah, me. But I just kept going. like, oh, you're doing so well. And I'm like, yeah, but you know that all my money goes back in my business. Right. right? And that's what it was. <laughs> and I was like, I could buy one of these other 40 waffle irons. Now I have. Waffle irons that cost over three thousand dollars. Yeah, that are truly Belgian waffle oh, and irons. Those things are crazy. Right, those are beautiful. Yeah, they're just like, yeah, nice little. Okay, sort, how you know. long were you in Caldwell? So I would switch off. So I actually ended up going to Napa too. So I'd go back and forth because the Caldwell Farmers Market was on Wednesday and the Saturday Market for Napa was on oh, Saturday. Yeah. So I did those probably a couple years. Wow. Yeah, a couple years. When did you really? When do you think you really start saw it like start to hook? Like when you were like, that you're, you knew all along that it was going to work, but when was it that you really started getting... So when I actually came into the Boise Farmer's Market, yeah, is because I got a, in, I talked to someone, they let me in, and then the actual market split, and now there's a Boise Farmer's, far, Bo- Boise Farmer's Market, and then there's a Capital Farmer's yeah. Market. So I got into that, and I still got there, and okay, so my revenue was 30 to 40 bucks when I first started running in Nampa and Caldwell, yeah. and then it finally got up to like 200 $300 yeah. at the... Boise Farmer's Market. Yeah. And then like the second year being there, um, things started popping because people started getting familiar with the Liege waffle. And I was completely surrounded by people. And that's when I knew. Everybody wanted to talk to me. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm cooking. I got You're this. Like, I got, I'm I got, doing something. Yeah, I got right like now. 20 tickets. And everybody was like, hey, Hector, how you doing? You got a minute? And I'm like, holy moly, don't you guys see I'm trying to? You yeah, know, you're like, I'm working. I did, I'm working. <laughs> so I did, had literally the whole pop-up was surrounded. And I said, honey, we need a move this to the next level and get a food truck. Yeah. So that's when I knew that we were, that's like awesome. something was happening. So that we got so the food truck right after that. And we where to, did you get your food truck? I got my food truck in Codwell from someone that just actually had built it. Really? Yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was a crazy thing. Someone built this brand new food truck trailer and um, used it for six months, but they got sick or something. I don't know the whole back end yeah, of the something. story. Something happened and then they put it on Craigslist for sale. Dude, I love Craigslist. Yeah, so it was Craigslist like, is my jam. so I was like, I called them. She goes, I got six other appointments. I told her what I did. She called me back and said, I canceled my other ones. I actually want to see you yeah. because she liked what I was going to do with it. That's so cool. So my waffle was favored already. <laughs> I love your waffle. Right. They're delicious. Yeah. Okay, so then how long were you in the truck? So in the truck, so this is the crazy thing. So we get this truck rolling at the farmer's market and, um, I, t- I tell my wife, okay, so now we got this truck rolling. Um, we'll get a brick and mortar 
three years from now. I think I think that's a good spend. Yeah. You know, save like, up some money. That seems logical. That seems that's logical. logical. Three years. But and then I go. So this is the another part of success that people got to get realized. Networking. When you're out networking, oh, yes. I was a big networker. So I'm out networking. This friend invites me to lunch, and I'm totally thinking, yeah, I don't want to go because like, I was I just, tired. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. We got done. I'm exhausted. I did not feel like it. But part of my training is like go when you don't feel like it. Yeah. Go things that you when you don't and feel like the it. First rule is like when you don't want to go, you have to go. Yeah. When you don't want when you meet that's that person when, or yes. And I did truly did not want to go sit and have a conversation. It was yeah. crazy. I hate to admit it, but it, it's it, we're all happens. people. We all get tired. We all have those days. Yeah. We're all not a hundred percent. But I went and showed up. Had lunch with this guy, and he asked me, "Are you looking for a brick and mortar?" And I said, "Sure." I go, "Where is it?" He goes, "Guru's moving out." And I said. You want to meet the CEO? And I said, sure. So I wasn't thinking he was for real. I was thinking two weeks yeah. out, he calls me the next day and says, Brad, Brad uh, from... Uh, Love you, Brad. Right? Shout Woo, out, Brad. Brad. <laughs> Brad's awesome. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I sat down with Brad yeah. and we talked about what I was going to do. Yeah. And so we negotiated and the negotiation to close that deal only took five days. Oh, I well... That, I was mind blown. Brad is, Brad right. is a boss. I yeah. mean, he's a really cool guy. Yeah. He's... He knows what he's doing. Yeah, so he liked my product. He yeah. liked what we was going to do. They actually had my product at the farmer's market before. So that's, once again, networking. I gave them some free cards years before. They tried my waffle, so they already knew what the concept was. So yeah. it's always doing something you with your business. Expect, well, and for me, it's I'm born and raised Boise. And so one of the things is, like, for me, I always tell people, I'm like, it is not what you know. It is who you know in this town. It is a fact, yeah. And I don't know if it's that way in every city. I think right. to, an, to a certain right. level. But here, it is who you know. It is, because sure. Boise is a very unique little town. Mm -hmm. You could get connected very well here in Boise. If you go to Seattle, I know it wouldn't be the same. You my could meet a thousand people in a yeah, day, and you yeah, still wouldn't know yeah, them tomorrow. Would, I, my daughter lived in Laguna, and that place would be a total, it wouldn't be Laguna, California. It would, it would never, the networking oh. would not be the same like it is here in Boise. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and if you're one connection away right. from your big break in, in this town. It is. It's like, yeah. oh, you happen to know so-and-so? Well, oh my gosh, I love what right. you're doing. Let me introduce you to this person. Right. And right. it's... It, 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 it. It's an uh, amazing town. It's just... Yeah. I, I, I can't even put words into describing what the possibilities here if you connect right. Absolutely. Yeah, if you connect completely side right. Side note. Side right. note. Question for yes. you. I know you're not a local, so how do you feel about all the influx of new people coming into town? Well, you know... I know uh, how I feel about it. Yeah. Which, I'm looking at like... What do you feel about it? I mean, Let's, not no events, but I see dollar signs. I see opportunity. Well, yeah. I You know, as an entrepreneur, you know, like if I even grew up local, yeah, I would still welcome in it because yeah. something's going right here in Boise. Well, yeah, and, yeah. and you've been here long enough. Yeah. You should have already established your footing or you should be right now Right before they all yeah. get here and they see the opportunity. Right, yeah, and I saw, I, I would walk down 8th Street where Prost is. Is that the place Prost, called? Prost, yeah. Prost, you know, yeah. my Spanish sometimes gets <laughs> <Yeah>. in <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, they were literally leasing out that place when I was looking, when I wasn't ready, but I was looking yeah. for $800. Back Shut in the day, up. No. yes, crazy. You wouldn't even get a spot like that anymore, dude. You can't get a warehouse in right. the city for eight hundred dollars. You right. joking? Right. So, yeah, timing is everything. It it, it yeah. really is, yeah. and that's one of the things that it's like. I feel like your guys' space is so cool and so unique is right. because you get to share it and you get to share some costs. Right. But you also have a partner there. Right. It's you know a, what I mean? It's a very unique partner because. Um, the relationship, it's you know, it really comes down to the relationship because you know the relationship we have with Boise Fried Company, we. It is, I don't know the word, tight. Yeah. Well, they're just good. They're Connect. such good people. And they're though. good people, yeah. And so we actually just, yeah, we got to enjoy and savor that moment, do what we could for them. Yeah. And yeah, it's that's, freaking awesome. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Okay, so how long have you been in that space now? I'll be there two years, August 20th. <gasps> Right? Congratulations, are we having a party? I want to. I didn't have one for the first year because I'm so busy. I didn't so have busy. one either. I didn't either. So, so I'm trying to be like, oh no, I, I gotta know. make a, I gotta do a great one this year. You know what I mean? Dude, we like, we hit our one year, and I was like, I looked at Rochelle, I was like, dude, we totally didn't do anything. Right. So like, I gotta do we're something. Like, what? Like, we don't have time. So I'm gonna crack this diet. Do it. Right Go for it. I've got tea. <laughs> I've also had like 12 of these today, so please excuse my ramblings, everyone. No, but, <laughs> Jen's um, over there laughing at me in the background. It happens. Where were we at? I just kind of lost track. Okay, two year anniversary. Two year anniversary. You gotta have a party I this year. I gotta have a party. Hey, everybody, you're invited. Yeah, woohoo. <laughs> Hi, Jen. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we gotta have a party because, you know, 
business, I wouldn't be at without. I don't call them customers. My guests. My people. My yeah. people, man. Seriously, yeah. my people. Yeah. It's um, powerful. Well, and they like I love our our people mm -hmm. so much because it's like they are so loyal. Right. Because it's like, you know what I mean? They just they believe in us. Right. Almost as much, if not more, than they believe in our business. It's, right. And it's and that's the other thing about Boise. Yeah. Is we are like, loyal. We're we loyal. Are very loyal. Yeah. I have customers. This is the crazy thing. Yeah. If you build your – people come back because you're out there engaging them while they're visiting your yeah. business. And I, I go out there as much as I can to engage them. Yeah. I got raving fans. Seriously, I didn't even say her name. Her name is Lucy. She's two. She came in because I go around and she's like, Dad, I hope Hector says hi to me. So her dad came up and oh she's like, God. Lucy wants you to say hi to her. Oh so I go, gosh. hey, Lucy, how are you? And she's two years old and she comes every Saturday for her waffle with strawberries. Oh my That's God. it. Waffles and strawberries. I love it. And every day and she's like, and I'm like, hi, Lucy. And she's like, hi, Hector. How are you doing? <laughs> she's now three. <gasps> my oldest client, my oldest guest yeah. is 94. What? Yes. And all in between there. Yeah. All because I go out there and engage. These are all repeats. Yeah. Well, yeah. and I feel like when you can really build that customer demographic right. and you show them that you actually care. Right. Because it's so true. It's like, I don't think people always realize, and corporate is fine. I mean, right. I mean I'll mean, i gladly sell them buns. But right. for me, <laughs> but for me right. it's the people behind it. And that's why for I like sure. the buy local and the, right. the local businesses right. so much. It's You know what I mean? You know their name. Mm -hmm. You've probably met them. Right. So I had um, a meeting at uh, Barbecue for Life earlier. Who's gotcha. one of our customers, right? And this guy comes up, and I'm just chatting with, with a potential investor. And this guy walks out and he's like, I'm so sorry. I don't want to interrupt your conversation. But... Are you from Golden Free Galaxy? <laughs> and, right. And he's just like, I. They just told me about you. I'm gonna be your number one customer. Right. And of course, like you just have that exchange, and it's so organic. It's right. It's not it's like so this real. forced or anything, and it's just you. No, because you, you, you build it. up your name. It's almost yeah. like you become what I call Boise famous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Real. Right. Which, you do. In this town, Which is, yeah. It, it is. You become Boise famous. You're like, yeah. oh, I'm Boise famous because I own a waffle shop, you know, which is really cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Our galaxy, yeah. Well, wait, okay. So, boy, speaking of being Boise famous, uh -huh. what is your, like, what's your next step? Are you are you going to franchise? Are you going to, I know you and I have talked about a couple right. things, right. maybe like packaging items. Gotcha. Or what, what, it, what can you tell us or not tell us? That well, you, what do you want to do? So, we're working on a, a second location right now. Not, yeah. a fr not, not an actual franchise, but, but, a, yours, second, yeah. but a second location. Um, we're gonna team up with Boise Fry Company. Can you Can't tell get us any. Whereabouts? Yeah, it's, I think it's gonna be. I um, know it's gonna be over there in the Chinden Linder in that new development. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So well, you guys um, are gonna have to have containers in my container park. By right. The way. Right. Here. When it's right. For sure. I mean, I think. Yeah. So. You too, Brad. Yeah, you Brad. Say. Yeah, I'm holding to you too. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Um, second location. That is so exciting. Yeah, I'm freaking, I'm freaking excited. Um, see what happens because I'm always looking for a new adventure. It's unknown territory for me, but yeah. I like a known territory because it grows me. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. It's yeah, scary as it, fun sometimes. Yeah, it, it grows the crap out of me. Like doing this podcast. I've never did a YouTube podcast before. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little nervous. I know. Once, I was like, when I did my first rolling, one, I was like, no one's going to listen to this. I know, this. but once you get rolling, it's like... Well, it's just you and I, like, so you guys all side note, like, we do this on the street. Right. This like, is normal. I go in to drop off flower and I'm like, oh my God, Hector. Then we just like, yeah. da, 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 da. Right? and then like 30 minutes later, we're, we're like, like, oh, okay, oh I, gotta I gotta go, go back to work. Go. I gotta go. Yeah. No, it's the best. But okay, so second location. And then do you have any plans to do any sort of like online sales or something? Yes. Or um, online or? size. I want to private label some of my products, um, get that going. Um, do some cool videos, you know, you know, do all the other kind of stuff that, yeah, you know, the stuff that, that we think we're going to do in our spare time. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like podcasts, like podcasts and package my pearl sugars, et cetera, et cetera. And it, and you're like, okay, I'll do it tomorrow. And then something else comes up, yeah. you know, the kids, a friend calls you and needs help. Something. Yeah. yeah of course. But it's always. The, the, you know, life is good. You know, yeah. I mean, life's super good. I life really enjoy. Great. Yeah. I really enjoy what I do. So. Talking to you, talking to people that come in, you know. Well, you guys are my favorite. Right. So. No, you're my favorite. No. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, okay. If there was one thing you would tell a newcomer coming to Boise. Got it. What would you tell them? Like for a business? Both. Just a regular person and then also a, someone who wants to be in business or start their own business in Boise. Or Nampa Caldwell. Either. Got it. Got it. I, you know, 
in the business aspect, I would just say stay consistent when you first start because uh, showing up and being consistent is the key no matter what you're doing. Um, just for an example, my daughter's 12 years old and she started, there's something called slime out there. Yeah. And she's only 12, but she did slime and never sold any. She's doing YouTube videos. She does Instagram. Yeah. And now she just goes and sells it and makes like Listen, four or 500 I, bucks. I have a feeling there's something in the yeah, bloodline. Yeah, cause... and there, and she makes like four or 500 bucks and she's only 12. Yeah. So if you stay consistent and show up yeah. and have a good attitude. Well, oh, and that's the other part is yeah. maybe people don't even care about the slime. Yeah. They just think she's rad. Yeah, that, really. I yeah. think she just like, hey. Yeah, yeah. that is She so shows cool. up. But you know, that's the thing when a newcomer come in is you got to show up. Mm -hmm. I think attitude is key. Yeah. Seriously, people forget like, I have a good product. I can act however I, I feel a, like. I'm going to be an a-hole. No, you can't, man. Not you can't. This time you no, can't. you got to have, you got to love your, got to love what you do and you got to, yeah, you just got to love your guests. You have to have a purpose. Yeah, you got to show you know? up and you got to have a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, don't get me wrong. I love what I do, but I'm freaking tired sometimes, uh, but I still show up. But I know? still put a smile on my and face. I still put a I'm smile like, on my face. Because, you know, you? the other 20% is always going to keep what you call the income rolling in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's, I just feel like you're just nice in general. Yeah, thank so you. Yeah, it's like I, a, yeah. a natural thing, right? Yeah. It's like there's days where we just don't want to talk to Yeah, anybody. there's days that we have short. And then we're just like, yeah, but I actually really like this person. Yeah. I, I posted yesterday on my Instagram, by the way, Idaho Ambassador. Um, what's your Instagram handle? Um, waffle, waffle, me up up? Boi waffle Me Up Boise. Follow both of us, please. Awesome. Uh, yeah, thank but you. I posted the other day, I was like, you know, I was really exhausted and I was like, nothing motivates me more than having like good conversation oh. with other local business owners. And it's like, I get all riled up and then I can't sleep at night because then it's like. Right. You know. It's like energy when you're talking with other entrepreneurs or you're even talking about growth, about women I was telling you about yeah. Florida. I mean, just, I don't know. It's like taking a Red Bull like yeah. 10 times or whatever. Yeah. So, it's you just know. like, get it in my veins. Right. Yeah. There's something that, I don't know, like that gets me going. So awesome. I love it. So. Well, cool. I, I don't know if I have anything else, but you do have anything for me? No, um, no? Well, just tell me about how we connected back in the day with Gluten-Free Galaxy. Because oh I, I, we gosh. love your product. I love your so, mix. So tell me about that. I Didn't I just come in? Wasn't that what I I don't know what you was, did. I feel like I stopped you on a street corner somewhere. Yeah, you're like, what up, dude? You own Waffle Me Up? You need yeah, 10 Waffle Me Up? Yeah, I think I was sitting at Red Feather or it was yeah. the alleyway. And I think, I think I saw you because you were coming from the market or something. And I was like... I know you. I was like, are you from Waffle Me Up? And I was like, you need to have gluten-free waffles. Yeah, And you right. just like, I think you were kind of like, who's this crazy person? But, right. but you were super nice. No, but you're me. like local and, you, and I yeah. and I want to support local because once again, yeah. you buy a product for someone and your relationship's being built. Look at us yeah. now sitting down. Yeah. Right? Well, you stuck with me forever, people. Right. So there's uh -huh. that. <laughs> for, for all of my clients, I'm like, by the way, we're friends. <laughs> no, and, and but no, the other thing I want to say about you is that, you, you, you know, I walked up to your truck and I saw all those business names. And yeah. I was like, I was actually mind blown by that. I was like, wow. Name a few that you have on your Bitter Creek, Red Feather, Fork, Dawson, Taylor, Waffle Me Up. Right. All five Boise Fry yeah. companies. Lazy right. Co op. That, I'm totally impressed. Well, thank you. Because you just started this year, right? Yeah, we haven't. Uh, so those are all of our wholesale accounts. But we haven't even had our wholesale license for a year yet. Right. So I'm completely like impressed of what you did because maybe? no one was doing that. No. Right? No. And it's. Well, if it, so for me, it was about, because you know, owning a food truck. For right. me, it was Rochelle and I got in, and we were 100% bootstrapped. So, gotcha. I'm with so you on that. We, you know. Uh -huh. So it's like, we make that money, and then we have to put it back in the business. Well, it was one of those things where it's like, we didn't want to buy ourselves a job. Right. Right? Yep. We actually want to grow something to a large enough scale where we can help people with allergies and make them feel more comfortable. I'm with you on that. But also not have to be pinned in the truck all the time, because that's... Gotcha. Because that, it's not I'm, the end game. Right. I mean, if right. that's your end game, right. not you meaning, but I mean, if that's a food trucker's right. end game, then by all means, I right. respect it. But for me, that's not what it right. was. Right. And that's what, I, that's, you know, I'm finally to the point where I only have to be at the shop like uh, maybe oh two God, to three days. Little, yeah. So. I can't wait until I'm like, oh, I just got to have to casually check my numbers. Right. Right. <laughs> so and that, right. And that's where I'm at right now. But yeah. it wasn't. What did they say? Rome wasn't built overnight or whatever? No, I mean, how many years? Six yeah, no, or five? Well, or? Like, basically from the market, but to just being in the brick and mortar, it's two. Yeah, two. Yeah, and then Almost you were in the market for what? Three, three four. four. I'm still in the market now because I, I like yeah. that, that income it brings me because yeah. it's like extra income. But yeah, I've been in the market for four so years. You've been, you've been in I've the been hustle for six, six years. years. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So, by the way, people, it does not happen overnight. Right. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. It's that. It's that classic iceberg <laughs> right. motivational right. poster yeah. you see, right, where it's Close. all below the water. Right. Nobody yeah. ever seems to get no it. No one ever sees that. No one ever no. sees that. It's not like I just had this shot pop up like overnight. Yeah. yeah. But it, I love it. Yeah. Well, yeah. awesome. Well, thank you for no. coming on. No, I love yeah. it. Thank and you for having me. I if appreciate. If you have not tried a waffle me up waffle, you must go. And then also, please follow us. Yeah. And. Thanks out, thanks and shout out to Argos Productions. You're a saint. We love you, sir. Awesome. And same to Gluten Free Galaxy. Yes. Try her product, premium. Yeah. You won't oh, go, or wrong. go try a Gluten Free Galaxy waffle at Waffle There Meal, you go. And then you could hit two yeah. of those with one. And then stuff. you could always hit her hit her up. <laughs> thanks. Yep, have a great one.